uh, glad to be with you. And again, thanks for joining me. What I want to talk about here today is, a, is about the idea of creating mailing labels from the public record system inside this system. Uh, in Bright MLS, we have this public records database that's very robust, and you're able to go in there and do searches and find property owners that exist using all kinds of parameters and to take the results of those and to print a mailing label and either, either have that mailing label point to the property address or to the owner's mailing address. I'll show you what I mean. It's very easy to do. The, the one that we use the most uh, the, the, actually, the most popular label is that 5160 label. There's a number of different brand names for it, but the 5160 label is a three across mailing label, three rows of 10. So there's 30 labels to a page. You can produce that label right from the program. Let me show you what, it, uh, what the process is really to do it. So I'm going to go into the search menu. And under the search menu, you probably spend a lot of time in this column, either doing residential sale or multifamily, that type of thing. I'm instead going to come under the search menu and come over, come over here to the public records menu. When I click on public records, it's going to shoot me over to the public record system inside this program. So again, we went out and, and purchased the public records data from all of these counties, and you're able to search that information and uh, do something with it. So let's say that we wanted to go out into an area. I mean, we could pick out geographically a county or a township using municipality or a zip code. I'm gonna leave all that blank for a moment because I'm gonna use the map in just a second to show you how you can really uh, sort of fine tune your search geographically. But what I am gonna do is come down here further. I'm gonna say, uh, I only want residential properties for this search. Maybe I'm going after listings. And maybe I want to do a mailing to property owners and say, hey, how'd you like to know the value of your home in today's marketplace? I'm gonna, maybe I have a postcard. And really what I need for the postcard is a mailing label. So let's build a search to find those people. So give me the residential property owners. And let's say in that same list of properties, only give me the owner occupied. Yes, that means that the mailing address and the property address are going to be exactly the same. I could get into all kinds of other criteria types here. Only give me properties with basements or certain type of cooling or heating or bedroom counts. Again, how you choose to search the public records data is going to be up to you. I have up over 5,000 records right now, which is way too many. Let's go out to the map and let's narrow down the search on the map geographically. So let's say that I'm really trying to search out here in um, Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. I'm going to type in Camp Hill, comma, PA. It'll bring me out to Camp Hill. And maybe there's an area inside of Camp Hill that I really care about. I'm going to, again, move myself around a little bit here. Maybe inside of that Camp Hill borough area, I like this area right over here off of 32nd Street, below Chestnut, above 581. And what I want to do is I want to get all the properties that are inside this geographic area onto a, lab, a mailing label. So I can go up here to this tool in the toolbar called Polygon. When I click on that and I come back out with my mouse, you see I got the crosshairs there. What I can do now is I can start to draw a shape on this map by clicking, then letting go, clicking, then letting go. So I'm clicking, I'm gonna follow this down. I'm gonna follow, click and click and click. Maybe I wanna follow 24th Street up here. And again, I'm trying to get below market. So I'm clicking, letting go, dragging this line. Anytime you're about to change directions, you'll wanna click again. But when I get close to where I started here, you'll see it changes to a hand. And now inside that shape, here are the properties that match the criteria in that they're all residential, they're all inside that shape, and they're all owner-occupied. There's 220 of them, matter of fact. So here's the list. Uh, well, I can tell there's 220 just by looking at that number there, but I can come, come to the list itself by going over here to the results tab. When I click on the results tab, it brings me to the list of the properties. And it is very simple to produce a mailing label for these, these property owners by simply tagging them all. So if I check all, and then I come down to the bottom, you know, when you tag things inside this system, that menu lights up at the bottom. So I, I now have the ability to print something. So I can click on print here. And what you'll notice is in this list, of things you can print is this 5160 mailing label. So I'm going to say, give me a mailing label, the 5160, with the property address on it, because I know all of these properties uh, have the same mailing address as the property address. So the mailing, the property address is fine. If I click on print to PDF right now, uh, you'll get a different window. 
And what will pop up in this window are the mailing labels. I mean, that's really cool. If you have not seen this before, you're probably ooing and eyeing right now because this is a very simple way to get yourself some uh, prospecting activity started. So producing that 5160 mailing label is very easy to do. Remember, you could change your criteria around here. So if I go back to the results, and just by changing the criteria that I used to non-owner occupied, so if I go down here and say owner occupied no, it's gonna give me a completely different list of property owners. Now I get 160 properties where the property address does not match the mailing address. So if I went out here and I went to the results and I chose to print a set of mailing labels for these folks, these are really the investors in that area. So if I click on check all at the top here and I choose print, I wouldn't wanna send something to the property address in this case, I'd wanna put it, again, if I'm after the owner, I'd want the mailing address for the owner on this label. So now I'm gonna choose owner address, click print to PDF, and you'll get a completely different list of properties here on this PDF. So again, here's the new set of mailing labels. And look at these addresses, they're kind of all over the place. A couple of uh, errors on this one here, not sure what's going on with that, but you know, this person here lives in Austin, Texas. And uh, you know, we, we know that they live in Austin, Texas. The idea here is that we can reach out to that property owner very easily and get something in their hands and say, hey, how'd you like to get rid of your investment property? Or how'd you like to buy another investment property? So that's kind of what this is about. If you have not taken advantage of this part of the program, please go out and check it out. It's really cool. Remember, our support center is here to help you. Anytime you need help, we're all here to assist you. Uh, but you can call the support center 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and, uh, and Sunday. You can also email them. We're all here to help you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day today. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. And again, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.